Hey guys, it's Lex at Lex Reads, and uh, I'm going to be talking you through all the books that I read in January and February. Namely January, because I uh, didn't finish a whole book in February. It's fine. We don't need to talk about it. Just move on. Alright, the first book that I read this year was The Screaming Staircase by Jonathan Stroud. And um, this is the first book in a middle grade series, middle grade slash YA. It's kind of like Harry Potter where it's like a little bit in between. But um, there are seven books in the series and this is the first one. I gave it five out of five stars. It was a really solid start to my reading year. Um, this follows, so this lives in like an alternate London where um, ghosts are like wreaking havoc and running rampant. And the only people who can see them are select, like, uh, children and teenagers. So, like, adults can't see them. Only kids and teenagers can. So, it follows three um, paranormal investigators, essentially. And on their crazy shenanigans in the first one, they solve one and a half mysteries. So, it's like two. Um, there are two, like, big hauntings. So, they go in at night and they have all this cool gear and... Um, they save the day, they solve, like, a decades-old mystery. Um, I adore the, um, protagonist. She is just absolutely amazing. So it follows Lucy Carlyle, Anthony Lockwood, and George on their ghost hunting adventures. I can't wait to wait, wow, I can't wait to read the rest of them. Um, I already own the second one, but I have not read it yet. I'm excited to get that, though. The second book that I read was Are You My Mother by Alison Bechdel, the originator of the Bechdel Test. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars. It's actually a graphic novel. I really, really wanted to like it a lot more than I did. Um, it's a lot about her and her experience, like, dealing with her complicated relationship with her mom. Um, but it was just like a lot of psychology and therapy, which is fine, like that's not a bad thing. But it wasn't really what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. I've um, read Fun Home and I adored Fun Home. But this one was just like a little bit lackluster. I feel really bad about not loving it. You know, it was like perfectly average, 3 out of 5 stars. It was like a 70%. It was fine. Um, I really like Allison's art style. I always have. I just wasn't a huge, huge fan of the content matter. Um, if you're looking for a graphic novel, I highly recommend Five Home, Five Home, Fun Home. I gave it a five out of five stars, um, when I read that one. So, I recommend that one more than I recommend Are You My Mother, but Are You My Mother was fine. The third book that I read in, that I've read in, uh, 2019 thus far was, um, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I adored this novel. Um, it's a really short read, so I just breezed through it. I read it in a few hours. Um, all I knew going into it was that it was a contemporary mystery. I think it's better that way. Um, it didn't really read like a mystery to me during most of the book. Like, sure, there were some elements that we don't really know, but overall, I just thought it was like an interesting like character insight, and there was like a little bit of mystery. Like, there were a couple things. You know, it's an un she's an unreliable narrator. So, uh, Cadence, so. And I, like, realized that while I was reading it, that, like, she didn't know everything, so I didn't know everything. Um, but I didn't really feel like it was a mystery until, like, the last 30 pages, and then there's just, like, plot twists upon plot twists, and it's like, whoa! And it gets, like, really intense and a little bit crazy. Um, but I think the characters are all really interesting. The thing that I liked the most about them is that I didn't necessarily think that any of them were super likable characters, but I still really enjoyed reading about them. So yeah, if you haven't read it, it's a tearjerker. Um, I highly recommend picking it up. Like I said, five out of five stars. I will be rereading that one. I lent it to a friend, which is why I'm not holding it right now, um, because I was like, you gotta read this book, man. It's so good. The next book that I read in uh, January was One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. I gave, I, um, after I read this, I rated it a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. This is one of those books where, like, the more I think about it, the less I like it, which is kind of a bummer. So, like, now I'm sitting, I think, more at, like, a 4, 
um, which is still a highly rated book, and I did really, really enjoy reading it. Um, the, you know, it's been dubbed, like, Pretty Little Liars meets The Breakfast Club, both of which I adore. Um, it follows these five students. They get detention one day. They're all, like, set up in detention, and then one of them uh, is killed. And so the other four are suspects. It's a multiple perspective story. We get to read from all four of the other perspectives. Um, I absolutely fell in love with all of the characters. I thought they were all fantastic, like, amazing characters. Um, the plot twist I didn't really think was a plot twist. I saw it coming a hundred pages or something before it happened. Like, I was zero percent surprised about it. Um... But I think the thing that makes me like it less and less the more I think about it is um, their portrayal of mental illness in the book is not great. But I think the characters are really fascinating and fun and lovable. I think that it's really worth picking up. If you like whodunits, I think it's a fun one. It's definitely like Pretty Little Liars meets Breakfast Club. Um, I really liked it, so. And the last book that I finished um, in January, February of 2019 was Truly Devious by uh, Maureen Johnson. This book was incredible. Um, all of these books are just like page turn, page turn, page turn. I also rated this one a 5 out of 5, I believe. I'm gonna check. It's loading. Yes, I did also rate this one a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. I loved this one. This is a dual timeline story. Um, in the present, we're following Stevie, who is absolutely in love with mystery, and she wants to work for the FBI, and she's like, really cool. I really adore Stevie. Um, but she goes to the Ellingham Academy, which is this, like, famous private boarding school in Vermont, where they take, like, really small class sizes, and it's kind of weird and new-agey, but, um, and it was started, um, in the mid, like, 1920s, 1930s, something like that. Um, and then the other timeline is following the 1920s, 1930s, because there's a huge murder mystery associated with the Academy. So Stevie's at the Academy because she wants to solve the mystery, but we're also back in time learning all kinds of cool facts about the mystery that, um, that the modern day characters don't necessarily know. This book is the first part in a series, so this one is mostly just setting up the rest of the story. Um, it's really good, but you don't get, like, any answers in the first book. It's all questions. Um, it's all fun. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to read The Vanishing Stair, which just came out in January, I believe. So I have to pick that one up so I can read it because I absolutely loved the first one. Yeah. Alright, guys. So those are all of the books that I managed to read in January. I read a lot of fan fiction in February, but I didn't read any, like, novels. Which is okay, because my uh, yearly goal is to read a little bit every day, but that doesn't necessarily mean read a novel every day. Like, you know, I can read an article, that counts. I can read some fan fiction, that counts. Like, those kinds of things also count. So I'm still doing good on my goal for the most part. But I only have read five books for the year. My yearly goal is 35, so I'm 14% the way done, which is still pretty, pretty darn good. Um, I think I need, like, two or three. I think it averages to, what is it, like, two and a half-ish books a month. So I'm not behind. It's a good thing I read like I did in January. But, uh, I'll keep y'all, uh, updated on that. Alright, guys, um... Thank you for watching. Be sure to go down below. Let me know what you think about any of those books if you've read them. Um, yeah, let's talk. I like talking to you guys, so please leave me a message. Also, be sure to like, subscribe. I try to post a video every Thursday. Sometimes there are bonus videos on Tuesdays. Um, sometimes there are none, but usually Thursdays. So, I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Why am I like this?